Mom? Yes. You had something you wanted to say? Okay, I just want to say one thing. One thing. Okay, but then I have another thing. Mm. So you have two things. I can't count that well, can I? Okay, so I believe today's video is about cherry creams. Now all of you on YouTube plan are going to go, I want cherry creams! How can I go to the website and get them? Um, we don't really list our cream flavors or any of our sort of chocolate flavors separately um, because we make each box as a full assortment. And uh, the reason we do that is because it's a constantly rotating roster of flavors. It changes all the time and it'd be real hard to keep up with. And you might try to order, all, you know, if we try to let you order certain flavors all the time, we might be out of certain flavors all the time. Hmm. So we just keep it uh, a rotating roster. If you want to order a separate flavor, if we can accommodate you, we will. You just put it in the, um, there's a text box on every order page that says comments and special requests. You can type your request in there and we will do our best to do that. But people are, do ask, why don't you have a list of flavors? And that's why. The other reason is because if every box of chocolates we got was a custom order, it would really slow things down. It would take a lot more labor because we'd be standing there reading the order. Okay, I got one of these and two of these. And if you slow things down and cost more labor, cost you more money. So then we'd have to raise prices. And we don't really want to do that. So in light of it, that's that's what we do. Every box is pretty much a full assortment. All you can break it down to all cream, all creams, all nut clusters, milk and dark, all milk, all dark. Full assortment. We do let you break it down somewhat. And I said we will accommodate special requests when possible. But we don't encourage it because it does really bottleneck things and bottlenecks cost money. That's all I have to say about that, Craig. Well, at the bottom of the cuddle. How much corn syrup goes into this batch? 10 pounds of corn syrup, 20 pounds of sugar. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joe, we're trying to make a video over here. Hello. I'm actually going to turn the volume down the end over here. He's like always trying to get attention over there. Yeah. It's like, look at me, look at me. <laughs> so I know some people have asked, uh, why not just pour from the bucket? Instead of using your hands. Why not? Because it won't pour like Because <laughs> it's way too thick. It won't, yeah, it's too I, thick. I think it a lot won't. of people are thinking of it like maple syrup or something. No, I think it won't. It won't. I'll be standing here for an hour <laughs> and holding it for half an hour. Yeah. Now you know. I'll be here forever for half an hour. <laughs> I'll be standing here holding it. <laughs> hey, you get paid the same either way though, right? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still get food and food and beer in a way, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. I gotta hope up another bucket. Here we go. Sure you use good and cold water. Yeah. Cold water, move your hands back and forth. And then you don't have anything on your hands hardly. Yeah. Who taught you this? My dad. And how much sugar is going to this batch? It's gonna be 20 pounds. 10 pounds? 20. 20 pounds. Yeah, I can't even hear you over here. 20 pounds. Max, I told you to turn the volume down and then over. I'll turn the volume over. Jeez, oh. We got the <laughs> rover going for full volume over here. Yeah. What the heck? Some of, us, some of us are trying to film other people working here. A little chunky. What did you call me? Yeah, you're a little chunky. <laughs> Oddly enough, it smells like sugar over here. Hmm. That was a tough one. <laughs> no, you can tell that this is a very healthy food. Yeah. You should eat it as like a main meal. It's just a treat. Not to be eaten every day. <laughs> just a treat. <laughs> Oh. 
get some water. Uh, Pretty mom said this is the actual ore that your ancestors used to get over here from Greece. Is that true? Yeah, shh, don't tell anybody else. Okay, so it's just between you, me, and the internet. Yeah. I made this paddle. Yeah? The original paddle broke about 20 years ago. Yeah? I got it hanging up out there in the shop. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I didn't know that that was the one. That's uh, my grandfather's one. I made these out of oak 20 years ago. So you just go to like Home Depot or something? Uh, probably. I don't remember where <laughs> I got them. Some, some type of hardware store? Yep. And you just shaped it? Yeah, that's all. A long time ago, so I don't remember really. I heard more stories back then are probably gone now. Yeah. I think there's one old timey one in uh, Manoa. Yeah, yeah. The last of the old ones. Are, that's about it. All the big chains are out now. Yeah. So how long do you stir this for? Until it's until it's really mixed up. Yeah. Get the chunks out of it. Turn this up now. You hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. You can smell it too. You can see it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hear it, see it, smell it, you can taste it. <laughs> I can feel it. Do you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Is that SpongeBob? Yeah. You want to show everybody they're finally fixing up where the car came in. Yeah. Did you ask to do something and say, watch your head? And she just looked at him like, what? <laughs> That's why you gotta do is say, watch your head. We were sits and go. I say it back to him because it's cute. I think it's cute. It's <laughs> cute. You gotta pour it slow, otherwise it'll bounce right out onto the floor. Yeah, makes sense. You cross your brother, Craig? <laughs> I am now. Only when you're around. <laughs> it bounces? Yeah, really. Is it's it like not a bumble? Is it like a uh, flubber? <laughs> <laughs> and you want to get most of it in here, right? Yeah, kind of. So, yeah. yeah. so that's why you pour it slowly? Yeah. Like you tried marketing floor candy, but nobody was really into it. Yeah, uh, floor candy. <laughs> Discount. Yeah, here's the five second ones, and here's the <laughs> one minute ones. <laughs> that was a five year one. We just found this one back. <laughs> moved this for the first time. Don't drop your camera or anything. <laughs> That'd be bad. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Come on in on Sunday.
all the, the other stuff in there is? Yeah, I just made a back batch of cream this morning and then uh, Max took it out and now we're making another batch of cream. And we're just pouring it right in on top of it. Yeah, because this cream don't need more cream. It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> yeah. You're just getting more candy. Yeah. I'm going to let that sit for about 25 minutes and then we'll turn it on. And this will be uh, 30 pounds of batch of cream that we can make any flavor we want. You can decide the flavor later on. Yeah, I don't know what flavors we're going to need. Your mom keeps track of all the flavors that we yeah. have and what we don't have. So and that's how we come up with it. Mom decides what to do when you say yes here. It's pretty high tech. <laughs> And you guys usually do like three batches within each, three different flavors within each batch? Well, we try to do one whole flavor, yeah. but then uh, when things are tight and we're running low on time, sometimes we'll make one, uh, two flavors out of it, or maybe even three if we're really tight, like uh, running out of creams. Yeah. And back in the day when you guys didn't used to have, like a couple years ago, would you guys do a couple different flavors all the time, or just one all the time? Oh. Uh, we used to just make two flavors out of one batch. Yeah. But I think the changes since I got busier. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good problem. Yep. <laughs> Did you just let this go for? Uh, approximately an hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half usually about. Yeah. Just until it's done. And then when it's done, it'll be ready to use for uh, creams. So why do you guys have to wait for it to cool down? Um, I don't know the technical reason why, yeah. but when I was a kid with my father, we always waited 25 minutes. Oh, okay. uh, don't really. So just that's it was how you. It's just too to warm. It. He said to to do it. So uh, yeah, I don't really know. Hmm. I'm just going by the way I was taught how to make it. So. Yeah. Well, if you can see, like right there, it looks like it's already like very close to the edge. I wonder if that has anything to do. Like maybe when it's thinner, it goes over the edge or something. Maybe when it's thinner, it will take longer to cream. Yeah. Hmm. Or maybe that's just how he learned how to do it. <laughs> that's how a lot of things are here, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I never. Uh, well, maybe I asked him, but I don't remember the answer at all. It was yeah. a long time ago. I don't know. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to show you guys a really cool time lapse of this turning from clear to white. And the cool thing with the time lapse, though, is something called like the wagon wheel effect. So you can see that this is turning this way, but in the time lapse, it's going to look like it's turning the opposite way. You remember seeing that from the time yeah. lapse? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, time lapse. So when it goes really slowly, then you know it's done. Yep, yep that's done. Then you just uh, let it sit until next time you guys are going to use it? Uh, yeah, probably get that out of there tonight or so. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put it in a bowl and then when, whenever we need it, which will be tomorrow probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're trying to restock up for Valentine's, all the creams. Yeah, because that's huge for Valentine's, We're right? We're out of so many things now. Yep. Okay. Are you super stoked, Craig? It's cream yeah. removing day. I know. Best day of the year. That's what I say. It's like Stanley. It's like two words. <laughs> Pretzel day. <laughs> Can I get all the toppings? Fling. <laughs> <laughs> Close up. It was like the best ice you gave ever. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Easy peasy. <laughs> it looks like it. It's easy. <laughs> it, it gets easier though as you do it though, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is like the first couple this. one that's really getting out. Yeah. I set it in a bad spot too. You should have seen it yesterday, man. It was way more firm. Yeah? Yeah. It's a little different every batch, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But what, what makes it firmer or less firm? We're not entirely sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the water, if it's how long you beat it, if it's the amount of invertase that goes in there. Mm. Not sure. Hmm. Okay, so I've got that rope caramel that was 
adjusting the fridge. You're adjusting the fridge, but it knocks out. But your fridge is super controlled. Um, it was rough. Yeah. Um, so I'm waiting for that to still rock. We've got a kiss in here. Oh, do you know what flavors you guys are doing? We actually might be doing whole flavors at this point, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but we just pushed a couple of flavors back, so I'm not sure if your mom wants to do like one more split batch. Yeah. Oh. One in here, one in here, yeah. So we're gonna have one in the one in the here. Well, that's gonna be a big one, huh? Hopefully. <laughs> so with the whole pile moving, and now I'm kind of yeah. I gotta do it now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> right, right, Mike. Do you want to put any uh, thermal? Have you gotten a bigger one before than that? Uh, that's better. Probably not. It really does. <laughs> that's, that's about as big as it can be. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. You really gotta like make the paddles meet. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. I'm yeah, not everybody can pick up cream like this, you know. I don't like to brag, but. <laughs> I heard that you're the most humble person here. Is she here? Yeah, I'm pretty good at being humble. Yeah. The best. I'm impressed about that, too. I'm the modestest. So we got the first batch done, and okay. now Max is getting the rest of the batch into this bowl. And I figured you guys would probably appreciate another time. It's all movie magic, I'm not even doing anything. So yeah, now that we got it in the bowls, we're just gonna cover it up, make sure nothing goes in there. And we'll come back to it tomorrow. Oh, I hear my mom. Yeah, is, a, is that real? <laughs> Where is mom? Mom! Where's mom? Are you calling me? No. Oh. <laughs> I was dropping your name. Oh. We are thinking about... Should I pick it up? Tomorrow is somebody's birthday, <gasps> oh, yeah. and that particular person likes uh, pizza with garlic and broccoli, mm -hmm. and he likes it from Pavone's. Mm -hmm. And if um, we do that, I'm gonna have you pick it up. I okay. assume you wanna be here for his birthday, the person whose name we shall not mention. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also thinking maybe Twin Trees has it. They're right here on the strip. I'm gonna mm -hmm. see if they have it, because Papa John's is where I usually get vegan pizza, but they, don't have broccoli. Oh, what the heck? What? Who doesn't have broccoli? Yeah, they don't have broccoli. Jesus no. It's outrage. It's, it's a, I know. And it leaves me speechless. Wow, that's speechless, huh? I'm better for now. For a couple seconds. I'm better now. But anyways, I thought I'd give Twin Trees a jingle. Kara said mm -hmm. vegans have ordered from there, so I'm going to oh, give cool. them a jingle, and then and it says they deliver. I just said driving by mm -hmm. on, the, on the road in my, in my Steve's car. It's, a good, it's good that you've been driving on the road. <laughs> Today. What's the matter, Sam? Just <laughs> going around. <laughs> Sam, turn around. Don't be shy. Day in the life. Day in the life. She always walks like this. We're not sure why. It's just this weird quirk she has. Anywho, my vehicle is unloaded of uh, 175 pounds of sugar or mm. some such thing, and now I'm going to move it because I feel like that's not a good place to park it. Mm. Bye now. Oh, and uh, since the video I posted yesterday, how many orders have you guys gotten? And this is this spinach also going to be chocolate covered? Yes, that's, okay. a, that's a new line of vegan chocolate covered spinach. Mm. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff for Hercules and then, uh, yeah, spinach, that's for us. <laughs> because Dr. Greger says you should put everything on a better spinach, mm. even chocolate covered potato chips. Make sure you eat your candy with your spinach to offset it. Make sure your candy healthy. Exactly. But get your anyway, beans. what I what I wanted to know because I know people have always been like, especially like on Facebook, whenever I post anything, they're like, "All right, great, there's a Facebook post, but where's the YouTube videos?" Um, so like, how many orders have you guys gotten just since that For video? What? Uh, the the video I posted yesterday. How many orders have you guys? What gotten? did you post a video of yesterday? <laughs> it was uh, was it brittle. Yeah, it was a brittle video. There's been a lot of brittle going out of here today. Yeah. How many orders? Don't know. Yeah. There's some orders right there. Yeah. And I mean, I usually, I've noticed that like usually when I post a video, there's upwards of like a hundred 
over a hundred. I don't think yesterday was that spike. No, no. Okay. Um, the day the no the other one you did with the Oreo bark that was a big spike and uh, oddly enough sold a lot of Oreo bark. <laughs> In fact, I knew it would happen, so I I preemptively told your dad to make extra, and he did. Wow. Yeah, that was a good day to be mm -hmm. Terry. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Then we have a new thing on our website called. Um, sold out button or something mm -hmm. if we're sold out of something below somewhere in there it says email when in stock so you just click on it you put your email in and lo and behold it'll send you an email when i add it back to stock so i don't have no more you don't have to email me and say when because a lot of times i don't know but mm. once back in stock you will get an email immediately now that's not a pre-order yeah you still have to go and order it hey craig while we're here near the funny wall mm -hmm. can i read that email yeah, sure. Somebody sent me a snarky email. So this is this is kind of similar to like the um, the one the corporate video or yes. corporate uh, email. This, in the this past. email is a little snarky, but there is a valid question in there, so <laughs> I'm ignoring the snark slightly. Okay, so this is from somebody whose initials are LG. In case she's watching. Oh my gosh, do you think it's time to start making candy 24 seven? Everything I looked at is sold out. Now I ask you in quotation marks, is that any way to run an online business? Well, I'll tell you, sweetie, and I use that in the loosest terms, um, we are still a small batch handcrafted candy operation. We're not pretending to be anything differently than that. So we make as much candy as we can and we put it for sale on our website. And we are training a candy maker, my brother Joe, as we go. You can't really train candy makers quickly because we want to do a good job. We want them to do a good job and put out a quality product. So in light of that, we can't just like put out an ad and get 10 people in here and show yeah. them that candy. You really have to have quality control because we would rather be out of stock than sell a shoddy product or God forbid have it be made incorrectly and bloomed and have foreign objects in it, stuff like that. It's bad, just trust me on that. Okay, so that's number one. Now making candy 24 seven, that'd be like adding a third shift. Personally, I don't think it's healthy for humans to work a third shift. So I'm not gonna ask anybody to do that. If I ever had somebody on my staff who was a trustworthy candy maker and I felt they'd do okay doing an overnight by themselves and that's what they wanted to do because of childcare or whatever, I would be open to that. But I don't ask people to do things I don't want to do. Yeah. I don't want to work an overnight <laughs> and I don't think it's good for anybody. So I'm not going to do that unless um, an employee expresses an interest in it because it's more convenient for their life. Mm -hmm. So that's my answer to the 24 seven question. I'm going to put my employees ahead of profits because <laughs> I just don't think it's healthy. Yeah. I remember I did that when I was a, a teenager. I worked like five at night to five in the morning as a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was highly illegal, yeah. but you just feel really cut off from the world. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of convenient because everything you want is open, you know, when you, when you are awake and uh, you don't have to wait in line for anything. Mm -hmm. But you are cut off from the world, and I just don't think it's healthy, so it's not something we're going to do. But um, we're, today is January 15th, mm -hmm. I think, and we're getting kind of caught up, and we're going to get our, our patooties kicked again. There's no doubt about it. And yeah. uh, we make it as fast as we can. Um, our business has increased, I would say, over last year. Overall, the increase is 65%, and I think we've handled it rather graciously considering the spike in business because I think as you've said Craig when we moved here we thought it would go like this but instead it went like this there was no yeah. predicting that so we're sorry that we couldn't see the future we really wanted to crystal ball completely cloudy yeah, yeah. and also, I need a new one <laughs> you, mine I'll, does not have Bluetooth or wireless maybe That's I'll get probably... you one for, uh, for Mother's Day Aww. but uh, another thing I, I, don't, I don't know if we mentioned before is like if you try to anticipate that and you don't have it then you have a bunch of people that you hired full time and you can't Right. Can't That's another reason that. we're being kind of careful with hiring too quickly because we hired two, two full-timers and then we have a part-timer. But our busy season, you know, the really busy season lasts up until Easter and then it's summertime and there's a lot of shipping we won't be doing because it's got to go with cold packs and depending on where you are, second day air. And a lot of people do not want to pay that price and plus they're trying to get into their bikinis. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're <laughs> not, there's not as much demand for the chocolate. So we're trying to be careful with the hiring. I don't want to hire somebody full time and then have to turn around in three or four months and go, oh yeah, you were the last one in, you're the first one out, sorry. Yeah. I don't want to be that person. So we're just trying to be judicious. But in the future, if you hear us say something such as, now I ask you, is that mm -hmm. any way to, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's where it came from, LG. Thanks for the tagline. So here we are again. In the stash room. The stash room. <laughs> We're watching Cheers too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it to you? <laughs> I've been 
been hanging out with Butterstatch a lot. <laughs> Butterstatch? <laughs> I was gonna say, is that like, is that really his last name in South Park? Scotch, not Scotch. Scotch. Oh it's butter. It's kind of funny. It's close. They're just, they're such darks, man. <laughs> yeah. Matt and Trey. Mm. We go way back. <laughs> We're on a first name basis. <laughs> So yeah, I guess we should probably be explaining what we're doing since there's definitely going to be some people who have never mm. seen this before. Alright, fair enough. I guess it's not fair to assume that everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're filling up the uh, the uh, mold here with cornstarch. Um, we're going to throw the candy into it later. So right now I'm just trying to make it like nice and even on top. Give her all the excess. You're really good at it now, compared to like the first video we ever did. Oh. What? what? See the cracks in the current search? Oh yeah. How does that happen? I don't know, because I suck. <laughs> I always thought that it was from not moving the stick enough. Oh, okay. But it happens anyway. You know, huh. so. That looks pretty decent. Yeah, I'm going to take that as a win. Yeah. When your dad does it, it's literally like flat yeah. across the whole thing. Yeah. Well, maybe after a couple of decades. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all it's going to take. Yeah. It's fun to think back, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice not to have to bend over the whole time oh, in the room, man. right? I don't know. I kind of miss my neck hurting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So under here we have the, um, you know, the, what would you call that? It's like a mold press metal I, thing. I feel weird because I'm like, I'm going to call every single thing here the mold. You know yeah, right? I know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. So we have the cast in there, or whatever it's called. We're just gonna press that into the, uh, the corn surge. We do it nice and slow so you don't disturb the stuff. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll get corn surge in your mold. So you're doing ten total trays? Yeah. Uh, we'll probably only fill up four trays. But you know, a half batch, but mm -hmm. it's nice to have that like overflow just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and you guys will definitely use it for whatever flavor. Oh yeah. It's nice having a couple extra trays laying around. Yeah. So are there any uh for you know for people doing this at home when they're uh trying to do any tips and tricks? Especially since, you know, you uh you've been doing it for like a year now, I think? Yeah, just about over here. Um, you know, it's hard because, like you said, you know, once you've been doing it for a while, like you kind of forget what it was like in the beginning. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing I wish somebody told me is like, don't rush. Don't rush. Yeah, take your time. Uh, you know, just don't rush it because if you rush it, the corn starts just going to all over the place. It's yeah. going to fall into the the molds that you just spent all that time making. Yeah. And sweep. <laughs> sweep a lot. Sweep a lot. We're going to be like trapping parts up through the whole store. Yeah. Time. Yeah. It gets very slippery with the, the yeah. linoleum. You can tell. This is... <laughs> and you guys swept recently too. It just gets... Yeah. I swept last night. Every, yeah. It just gets everywhere. <laughs> And you can see where uh, Max kicks the door open every time. What? What? I would never. I would never. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot easier for me too. Being in here, like not having to bend over. Being able to walk. Yeah, and actually being able to like hold the camera like a normal person. I wish I could show people what I used to look like when I was filming really in the Star Room. I think I actually said it in that one video. I was like, man, if people could only see the, the lengths that you went to <laughs> just to bring that like a 20 minute video. So we're just doing that to uh, make sure there's no like pockets or gaps mm. in there. Break all that. I 
totally just got cards that were trying to kill me. Yeah, that's alright. Like, in the lens. That's alright. Yeah? I'll just clean it later. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's not like, like you can't see it. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually a lot harder to notice things when you have like a 2 inch screen uh, that you're looking through instead of like a 20 inch computer screen or something. Makes sense. So I'll notice it later on. <laughs> That'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's on the entire video. Alright, so I had a cup collapse there. I don't know if I'm going to show that, but... Oh, did you? Where is it? Right beside it. Oh, yeah, so you probably won't be able to use that. Will you be able to use the surrounding ones? Oh, I'll use that. It'll just be a little bit shorter. Oh, okay. You just gotta go check on the old cream. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you should keep yours on. It, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it does look pretty cool. <laughs> you think the stocks are with your friend? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't born in there, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> pretty close. Do you guys do this by temperature or just by how it looks? Um, at this point, like, I don't really have to check the temp until I get closer. Mm -hmm. But we're definitely trying to aim for at least, like, it used to be 130, but now we're trying to get to, like, 140. Just helps it drop a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Can we sit down or something? Yeah, that's good. Is this just, yeah, like why are we here, home? dude? I'm kind of hungry. You want to like? Dad, you want to go home? Yeah, let's call it a day. Yeah. A day. <laughs> like, who are we calling a day? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's Eddie? All right, so I just checked it. One forty-one. Nope, don't show that. Okay, sorry. But you see it. Yeah, yeah I can so see that. You know. See? 141. Yep. Yeah. Alright. <coughs> so the book says a half a shot. Okay. We're gonna have to test that out. I'll shake it up just to be seen. Can I just squeeze all these cherries? Just yesterday, man. Yeah. It was, oh man, so rough. Squeeze them all by hand? Ooh, by foot. By foot, really? Ooh, that's the tough part. If I was doing it by hand, I wouldn't complain, but you know, I gotta like make chocolate while I'm squeezing them, so. Look how red that is. Yeah, that is very red. Right? So you guys still have food uh, coloring too? Oh yeah. yeah. You ready? It'll probably disappear. I don't oh, even yeah. know if it'll like turn pink. Huh. I think that's just like the natural color. You know? mm. Can you smell it? Yeah. Oh, I can really <laughs> smell it. <laughs> I can Who's smell it? cherry. Yeah, next time we do this, don't tell me what it is and I'll, I'll, I'll smell yes. it like, 
Yup, I know what it is because these are all very strong. Like when, because you know you're pouring in like a lot of flavoring oil, so it's mm. very strong. I can definitely smell it. But remember Dylan doing the taste test, man. Like it's it's tough. Sometimes yeah. you're just like I can tell it's a berry of some yeah. sort. But well, yeah, but that's like that's when you're eating easy. it instead of like it all just got poured into a batch and yeah. you still smell it. And it's like right on top. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's just like a light pink now. Yeah. And like there's still like the little pockets of like actual white. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> some dad's oh, that's a, that was a smaller water, bowl. Double boiler, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what Let's taste it first. Okay. Taste oh, cherry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tastes very cherry. Very cherry. <laughs> I am. Um, I've been tasting the creams too, just to make sure that like they actually, you know, hold the flavor after. Yeah. And the cherry one, as soon as I cut it open, I was like, I can smell the cherry. Yeah. One. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. The slightly orange ones because it looks like a dragon ball. Oh, it's yeah. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. It's funny too because, like, sometimes I don't know if it hides like in here or something. Mm -hmm. but, like, you'll be mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, and it'll just get kind of pink, and then all of a sudden you'll have like blood red like oh. in there again. Yeah, it's like, where did that even come from? See, it's like turning white, you know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we'll just like... It's a nice pink, though. It's like bubblegum color pink. Yeah. So, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Do you, uh, turn the, do you turn the gas off once it gets up to the tank, or do you like leave it low? Yeah, no, I, I've been turning it off. You know, you could leave it on super low, but, um, you know, the water retains the heat, and then, like, as you get lower and lower, it takes less heat to heat it up. So, yeah. like, we've yeah. had a couple of batches where, like, you get down to the last funnel, and it's just, like, you can't even, like, move the it's, stick fast enough. Cause, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, completely liquid. You know? <laughs> Have you guys uh, noticed much of a difference with this new stove versus the old one, the old place? I don't really use the old one that much, so. Well, like, when... Uh, Wait, what do you mean? You used it all the time whenever you made all the creams at the old place. I just wasn't, you know, since I've been here, I've been making cream like every day for like three months. But oh, like yeah. over there, I made cream like maybe like twice a month or something. Oh, yeah. So, um, I don't know. What, what do you think, Steve? You think the other one warmed up quicker? Or? I think we did it a little different over there, too. So. But the uh, old stove, because it had uh, control over uh, each, there's a ring of uh, Burners. Heat burners. I could control the heat. Well, I learned how to control the heat better. Yeah. Now I'm just now I gotta learn how to control the heat better with this one. So it's just a little learning curve. Yeah. But you know, I'm getting it. Yeah. We're, we're getting it. I think the biggest inconvenience with this one is not being able to keep the kettles on the stove. Like you can't turn the heat low enough. Yeah. To keep the kettles on there. I change all the water in the kettles. Which, and then in the morning, they're all grouped together, so yeah. they hold the heat together. So then they're still uh, they're still melted in the morning. So and I guess we changed the water before we left anyway. Yeah, so it's not a big deal, but so then they're just fine. It was nice to just be able to put them out. Yeah. Mm. All right, you ready to run in there? Yeah, let's run. Right into the slippery linoleum and well, corn starch all over. I swept up a little bit, so yeah. it should be as slippery. <laughs> yeah, you don't even need that much corn starch on your foot for you to be like, whoop! Yeah. <laughs> I've almost slipped yep. a couple times. <laughs> when I'm doing the rover and I'm running back and forth, sometimes like I'll go to stop, my foot's just like, <laughs> like you try to stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun though, right? Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's kind of tight, huh? Yeah. I always find a way for, for to not have space. <laughs> the superpower. Yeah. I don't know. I like to get up really close to everything because I feel like people have seen candy made before, but usually you don't see it like this close. Yeah. You know, because how it's made is usually shot kind of like far away and like TV shows and stuff. But we ain't no TV show. It's like no TV. <laughs> Yeah. Plus, I mean, I know you're not doing like macro shots, but macro shots are super cool. So. Yeah, they are. I could get some macro shots. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Would you move in that fast? I don't think I could. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely slow down, but. You know, if you just wanted to like slow down for one try or something, that'd be fine. Mm hmm. You can also shoot in slow mo. Macro shots. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Those are always like the coolest scenes in like the nature scenes and all, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scrape the walls. Oh yeah. What uh, would it be any different if you did like half filled and then came back and just filled the rest of that one? I guess it depends on how quick you are. You know, it's it sets pretty quick. So, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't think it would like not bond, but it might just look a little funky. Yeah. Which I guess once it's covered in chocolate, who can tell, right? Yeah. Okay, one of the tastes is <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely gonna taste like candy. Yeah. <laughs> no worries there. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, probably a lot nicer traveling from here to the starch room than it was at the old place. Yeah, it, it was fun though. <laughs> I love like around the gauntlet, you know? yeah. You still gotta beat the drip anyway. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes me so nervous for you. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm just hoping that I got the shot. <laughs> Dude, you're a pro. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I also have it on super wide angle, so it's hard to miss. <laughs> I can't see it, but it's like it's almost like cat and mouse or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. just in VR, it's almost like you're doing it yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be a kind of cool video game. <laughs> Kid, yeah. Candy Maker. <laughs> yeah, they have Goat Simulator, right? So <laughs> I'll show you this. Yeah, I've heard of step up for that. Too, yeah. yeah. You've seen the one that's like, just like a truck driver? And you can like drink beers and hurl them out the window and stuff? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. 
باشن It's weird to be doing it but like I'm almost imagining like what the shot from up there is so it's like Here, I'll show you. freaking my eyes out and you can see oh this is what it looks like from my perspective dude that is weird <laughs> <laughs> we need to go deeper <laughs> oh, but like there's like a second delay and then like you just see more and more <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of like the mirrors at Shopping Town. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're still like that, but the ones in the bathroom in the food court, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't remember. Like you would look one direction and oh, it would just yeah, look like yeah, it went yeah. infinitely. I like, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you been to the mirror maze at uh, Destiny? Nah. That's actually really cool. <laughs> yeah. Everything at Destiny is so expensive though. I'm like, I'm not interested. Yeah, I think the group on like 13 bucks or something for two people. So I think oh, for so two bad. people. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. So, we had some YouTubers and they wanted to see, you guys already just went in the start room, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But we figured we might as well get a video of it. So yeah. Let's go do that. <laughs> so, where are you guys coming from? Uh, I grew up on Long Island. Okay. And uh, we both go to ESF. Yeah, I grew up in Poughkeepsie. Okay. Like yeah. Around there. ESF is like right around the corner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were so close and I like flipped out. <laughs> I like, flipped out so hard. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tech called me and was like, you have to take me to this candy store when we oh, yeah. get back for this semester. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I've been watching all their YouTube videos and they're in Syracuse. <laughs> So what do you guys think of the, the star trims that look? Well, I guess we haven't really showed too many videos of the new star trim. No, I saw a lot of the old one. Yeah. That one was, was small. Yeah. <laughs> this one's cool. Yeah. It's like bigger and more spacious. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot easier for Max or me, for everyone. <laughs> it's nice to stand up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this is uh, coconut, right? Mm. Oh, okay. Can you smell it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we were doing like a beach in there to me, so. yeah. <laughs> We were doing cherry earlier, and cherry was, has a very strong smell. Yeah. You can definitely <laughs> tell that it's cherry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, yeah, I gotta be able to grab the whip. Hmm? I need the sifter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't done one of these videos in so long. I, I've kind of actually forgotten what the process a little bit. Oh man, I was counting on you, dude. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, just that out a little bit. Just take one out at a time. <laughs> Alright. Just splitting it in half. Well, we got five trays, so. Mm -hmm. Make them even. I just like to check for the ones that, uh, you know, sometimes you break the uh, quartz arch in between them mm -hmm. and they like blend together. Mm. So it's nice to just pick them up and break them apart. Who needs a GoPro? Mm. videos like this uh, if these uh, are 
hard because they sound hard when they hit. I think that sounds kind of like the piece is hard. Yeah, that's actually what we're aiming for too. It's like if it doesn't sound like that, then mm -hmm. they're too soft. But mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> oh, mushy balls. <laughs> and um, they apparently soften up once they're covered in the chocolate. Oh yeah. So yeah, they're sitting there, they, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I've ever eaten just like a, a naked cream before. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> try something. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, people are wondering they're making hard candy out there. You'll see in a minute though. I'm trying not to even breathe until it settles a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good advice. I mean, I'm not in here as much as you are, so. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. It's like maybe my trays were just extra corn starchy or something. But the last time I was doing this, man, like I'm shaking it and I can't even see through the dust cloud. <laughs> it's like so thick. You can do. Can you, you can do a couple of these all at once, or can you do all of them all at once? Can you bring like can you bring this out there? Uh, I wouldn't do more than two and a half trays. Mm -hmm. um, you know they're probably firm enough where they could sit on top of each other, but you just don't want to yeah. risk like misshaping. Yeah. And the uh, the old places you guys have to do them like one at a time, just because there's Sometimes, no humidity yeah. control. But yeah, in the winter you could probably get away with it. Yeah. Yeah. If it hadn't been raining or anything, you know, two trays was pretty much our limit. But um, the first creams I ever saw, like, not work were the cherry creams. So it's funny you bring that up as oh, yeah. we're doing these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if people are uh, are wondering about uh, how humidity uh, affects these creams, can you tell them more about that? Um, you know, I don't really understand the science of it, <laughs> but uh, it just makes them softer. Yeah, and it makes them, like, kind of stick to the enrober a little bit if you're enrobing them. Yep, sticky and soft. <laughs> And then they can't get over the belt, so they just get like eaten up in between. Yeah, <laughs> that's gets no eaten good. by the inner over. Yeah. Yeah, why somebody's eating them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen like the stuff that's like right outside the door? No, mm, what do you mean? Like there's like a thin coating of like cornstarch on oh, like, the yeah. shelves right oh. out there. <laughs> it's like it's everywhere. Yeah. So I don't know if you noticed, but like when we're shaking it up, I like to like bounce them off the wall there. Mm -hmm. It's not just because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, it helps break off all the tails, you know? Mm -hmm. So like they're not yeah. perfect, but yeah. it's all the big pieces off of these. Mm -hmm.
people watching um, they usually think of like this like assorted stuff as being like very soft but then it sounds hard and they're like wait so does the chocolate make it soft like there's been a lot of questions so figured I'd try yeah, to answer right. that you know how they they just sound hard but they're actually pretty soft they're off which one's gonna win Ooh. I don't know it's a tie well you never know <laughs> you never know if he's gonna like switch up positions and then all by yourself? stop and then redecorate everything. Mm -hmm. Twice the time. 
that's what you guys used to do with like the, the pastry bags and the chocolate. Yep, all the decorations that you don't have to. And uh, with the decorations that you guys still do that with, do you guys then use two people still? Uh, yeah. I mean, it can be done by yourself. You just gotta slow them out now. Yeah. But, uh... Where's the fun in that? Or, I don't know. I guess 
Yeah, we could probably do three full batches in a day. Yeah. Which is like 90 pounds of cream. Yeah, and you guys used to be able to just do, I think you used to just be able to do one. one yeah, one so full batch would take 12 hours. So. Yeah, so it's like a 300% increase. That's pretty good. That's the thing, like this thing is a huge pain in the butt, but it saves a ton of time. We just did that like last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. We had to like take inventory, so we took everything out and reorganized it. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, Bill. Uh, these are dark cherry creams for the assorted boxes. And I got word from corporate that they want to put them in the red cups. Yep. Yeah. Because it's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, corporate being, you know, your mom. <laughs> so, we're going to cup them up. You know, these have been through the enrober, and as they go through the enrober, sometimes they can form a little bit of a, I don't know, appendage. <laughs> and sometimes you have to break it off, like this one right here. Like that. Yeah. And it's not going to go into a cup very good. Yeah. So I just kind of rock it back and forth. And put it in there. That's it. Not very scientific. Right? <laughs> Terrific and scientific. You come up with the Joe method all by yourself? I did. <laughs> Nobody else was able to do that before. They wow. just ran around in circles. <laughs> what do we do? Sounds like something my mom and dad would do. <laughs> <laughs> the red cups are a little bit finicky. For some reason, they're a little stiffer. And so sometimes I have to fight with them a little bit to get the cream in. But that's pretty much it. This is a good task for daydreaming. Just thinking about other stuff. And Wait, whiling you away the time. <laughs> what you want to do when you go home? <laughs> what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> figure it out someday. And then I put them in the box. Sometimes they don't stay 
they put. Good work, Joe. Thanks, Craig. I really cherish these moments. Do you want yours cut in half, or are you just gonna sure. bite it and no, then? No, just yeah, no, <laughs> just cut in half. Okay. Yeah, we want to see the insides. Want to see the inside? So this is the dark chocolate cherry. Mm -hmm. One for Joe and one for me. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's really creamy. Yeah. yeah. Right here, Joe. Thanks. I should have like the milk and the dark. Do we want to cheers? <laughs> cheers? Cheers, Cherry. <laughs> cheers. Mm. It's very creamy. Yeah, it is really creamy. Now, is there supposed to be a solid cherry in these, or is it just the... This is just the cream. Just, yeah, just the, the cream. Flavor. Okay. Yeah. But can you tell it's cherry? Like, yeah, right I can away? tell it's cherry. Yeah. yeah. For sure. What I, I like about what Steve does with his recipes, he doesn't like put so much of the extract in that it's overpowering. overbearing. It's like he has a, all his candies, all his creams, and everything have like a really nice balance. So you get the dark chocolate coming through really well, mm -hmm. and the cherries not too much, not too little, because you can definitely tell it's cherry. Yeah, you know. Um, and these are perfect for people that don't like the salad cherry. Pieces. Oh, the chocolate you know what I mean, cherries. like the chocolate covered yeah. cherries. Yeah, I and I like, <laughs> I like how they put the sprinkles on the top now. Mm -hmm. It gives yeah. it a cool texture. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Just mixes it up a little bit. Can we do some more? <laughs> <laughs> what other yeah, flavors this, do we have? Like <laughs> yeah, there's more. No, no. Testing. Mm. But yeah, he's always coming out and saying, "Did I put enough in? Did I not? Yeah. I, I don't want yeah, it too strong." Yeah, he's always he's worried about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nails like, it. has you guys flavor or taste it every time? Yeah. Taste it sometimes. He'll mm -hmm. think because you can smell it yeah. more than you can taste it, and he's yeah. like, "I'm not sure." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then, then it's like, "No, it's perfect." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when he's yeah. mixing it up, we always he always puts some on a little uh, sample stick, mm. like a popsicle stick kind mm -hmm. of, and we all like two or three of us taste it mm. and make sure it's worst part of your day. Yeah, yeah. It's it's horrible, <laughs> it's horrible. You know, that's why we all need to be on diets here. <laughs> yep. But that's okay. <laughs> But no. Yeah, good stuff. That was perfect. And I like it with the dark versus the milk, I think. Yeah, yeah, it goes really well with it. Yeah. Although we probably should try the milk too, no. just to be sure. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Craig. I really cherry-ish, these moments. You can probably cut that out if you want. <laughs> <laughs>